All right, today we're going to talk about the LSU quarterback competition as spring ball has officially started. Spring 2021 is here. We're excited. All LSU fans are pumped. Uh, me being part of that LSU community, I'm excited as well. Uh, but with all that said, I think regardless who wins this competition, I think LSU is in a great situation. They're in a great position to win. And we're going to dive into some film pretty quickly of Max Johnson, TJ Finley, and Miles Brennan. We're going to see a lot of their tool sets and the skills that they bring to this table and, and kind of what they do. You know, some have some similarities and then they're different as well. You know, TJ Finley probably has the strongest arm out of him. Max Johnson's probably the best athlete. And then Miles Brand probably has the best feel on his touches, which we're going to see in all these clips that we're going to watch. So I won't spend too much time on the front end. I just wanted to say, regardless who wins this job, I think they're in a good position. I think all three guys have a, a high ceiling and a lot of tools at the quarterback position. So I think if I'm an LSU fan, which I kind of am, I am very excited about this quarterback situation going into 2021. And I'm going to reference two articles, which I'll link at the bottom of the in the description. Uh, and one of the articles was stated, stated that Max Johnson got the first team reps the other day uh, just because he went to and in the start so uh, that was kind of a little humorous and then another article uh, is referencing uh, I forget the exact author's name but it's referencing uh, someone from The Athletic and they firmly believe that yes it's open but it, it is Miles Brennan's job to lose um, so I'll, I'll reference those two articles so you can check them out and read them yourself with all that said I'm done talking let's go in and jump into the film here's also a really impressive play from Max Johnson that May, might be my favorite play he had all his freshman season. It's one that to the naked eye probably looks simple, but when we break it down, we're going to see how kind of complex it is and, and what a truly great throw it is. So he's throwing. He, this is a, a great definition of what it looks like to throw your receiver open. It's a long throw here. We've got press man coverage. He knows the safety is not going to be able to get up top in time, and he's not able to beat his guy deep. So Max Johnson throws his guy open, almost like a small little in route, but throws it. We'll, we'll call it back shoulder for lack of better terms, and the receiver is able to, able to adjust to it. So it shows good arm strength while throwing in the face of pressure, getting hit, standing in the pocket, and being able to throw, throw his guy open. So uh, to break down real quickly, he stands in the pocket, takes a hit, throws his guy open, and shows that he has enough arm to throw when he has someone in his face. So let's go ahead and watch this play because it's pretty impressive. Comes the blitz, takes a hit right there. And now you see that he still covers the receiver does a great job. This is also a great example of just being on the same page, which again is impressive for a freshman. Awesome job there for a big play for LSU. Let's go ahead and watch the, is it the behind the center view? Let's see here. I'll go up end zone, end zone angle. So we're going to watch here. Here comes the blitz. Watch. Boom. Takes a shot, but is able to get the ball across the field. And the receiver does the rest. Good, impressive play by a freshman. So this screen, uh, this uh, slant slash a uh, little small in route may look like a pretty simple play and a pretty simple throw, but what's impressive is is Max Johnson's ability post snap to read the defense and, and know where to go with the ball. Um, this is very impressive as for a freshman. So we're going to see this outside guy look like he's going to blitz. Looks like the safety is going to take this tight end inside slot. Then we have the outside slot, and we of course we have the the outside receiver. Um, and so Max Johnson is going to eventually throw it to this guy running the in route. But watch how this uh, outside edge guy drops back into coverage this safety comes into coverage as well and Max Johnson throws exactly where the safety was probably supposed to be with this in route coming in just good recognition because based off the pre-snap read you think this guy's blitz and you think it's man across here but it's not exactly the case let's go ahead and watch this play here develop we'll watch both angles you see come in Awesome. So you see he's this receiver is essentially taking the place where the safety should have been. Good recognition by Johnson, and the edge guy comes up. There's two guys on here for, on this guy for no reason. We're going to finish the play. That's a good ball. Looks simple, but 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 a, a, a damn good read for a freshman right here against a fast, good SEC defense. Let's go ahead and watch the behind the center view. Boom, drops back into coverage. Replaces where the safety is. Good stuff, Max Johnson. So here's a good clip demonstrating Max Johnson's ability as a runner. He, he is definitely the best runner out of the group, out of the three guys we're talking about today for LSU. Uh, this is something to his advantage and something we saw against in Florida. His, his running ability and his threat as a runner helped open up passing lanes and helped uh, him push the ball downfield. And so uh, this is just a quick clip. And you can't really tell if it's a – it looks like a draw, but he might have decided so quickly because the hole opened up and he just kind of put his foot in and go. But regardless, it's good recognition by Max Johnson of where to go. And he shows pretty good acceleration getting to the edge and then getting upfield for a first down so we're going to watch both the sideline angle and the behind the center angle step finds that hole good acceleration here gets upfield it's 
good showcase of athleticism and, and good speed for him, more than enough speed to hurt the defense. Let's go ahead and watch the behind the center angle here. Running back goes in motion, quick step, sees the hole, gets outside, then gets upfield. Good run, good read by Max Johnson. So here's a great pre-snap read from TJ Finley uh, against Arkansas. It's going to end up being a, a touchdown, about a 30-yard touchdown fade uh, to the receiver at the bottom of the screen. We see he's got a matchup that he likes. The cornerback is about seven yards off the ball, but he's got inside technique, and we're going to see that the receiver down here is that it has plenty of room to the sideline to run, and the safety, which uh, if, if I if I start the video a few seconds earlier, uh, was in this range. He creeped down here. So TJ Flynn knows there's no, uh, there's no up top safety. He's got inside technique. All I got to do is throw it towards the sideline. And of course, the receiver makes a great move. And, and TJ Finley throws a great ball as the receiver is getting open. So just a good pre-snap read here. A relatively easy throw, but still encouraging seeing this pre-snap read, uh, especially just after just only a few games starting in his freshman season. Let's go ahead and just watch this play. And we're just going to watch it from the sideline angle here. So we got the safety that's blitzes off the line, inside technique. We're going to watch the receiver run a great route. Stop, boom, and Finley's about to throw it right now. We got we have the uh, a saying in college, if he's even, he's leaving. And so this is a no-brainer right here, no up-top help. Easy throw, but good pre-snap read, good pre-snap read. So here's an example that shows several of diff uh, Friendly's different tool sets here. Uh, usually, you know, I, I, he might be better standing in the pocket and just ripping it using his big, strong arm. Uh, but, but by no means is he a statue. He has enough mobility to get out to the pocket. So we're going to see him roll out here, and we're going to see his, his strong arm uh, on full display here as he throws a, a comeback slash out to the, the outside receiver. And you're going to see there's not a lot of, of room for error here. It's actually pretty good coverage by the DB. But this angle, this end zone behind the center angle, gives us a kind of a good, display and, and a good eye, eye view of seeing just how quick uh, one Finley's release is and how strong his arm is and there's really not a lot of, lot of separation from receiver and DB so we'll go ahead and watch this play I'll pause it uh, right before he throws it yep. let's see rolls out not a lot of separation here but just the ball gets there very quickly good job getting his hips and shoulders towards the receiver as well good throw so here's a, another good uh, clip that shows several of Finley's tool sets, but it's, you're going to see his rocket arm here, his ability to fit the ball in tight coverage, but also his pre-snap ability to see and kind of not make a predetermined throw, but see, okay, where's the best matchup according to what the defense is doing pre-snap. So we're going to see the safety creep in. He tries to get back in coverage, but he's not able to get back there in time, and Finley uses his strong arm to fit the ball where it needs to be, and he does a good job just reading where the safety is going. So let's go ahead and watch this play. We're going to watch the sideline angle and then we're going to watch the behind the center view as well see the safety creeps up stop towards this rocket boom that's a good ball i know it's a fumble here um but a good job by finley we're, we're going to go ahead and watch the behind the center angle as well so we're really going to be able to see the safety creep up we're going to see the safety come here he's not able to get back in time and finley just throws an absolute rocket uh, the ball jumps out of his hand. Very quick release as well. We'll go ahead and watch this play. Safety comes up. Watch the ball just go right by the safety. Awesome stuff. Good ball. So one thing that jumps off on film when watching Miles Brennan and taking kind of a, a deeper dive and a closer look at things is his ability to have this feel on his throws. It's to, to know what type of ball to throw and to know where to throw the ball. And his ball placement is pretty impressive. And I think that comes just from his maturity. Even though he hasn't played in a ton of games, he's been in college for several years and at least several years and, and knows how to throw what type of ball against what type of coverage uh, and knows kind of where the ball needs to go to make sure his receiver is able to, to make the, the catch. So in this case, he throws it to his talented tight end, uh, Eric Gilbert. Uh, we're going to see kind of like a, I think he's lined up down here, and we'll see like a skinny post type pattern it looks like, but he's able to throw it between two defenders and just puts it in a place to let his tight end go and get the ball. So it's great feel on his throwness and great, great awareness when he throws. I, I, I think Miles Brennan is a very mature thrower. Um, so let's go ahead and watch this play here. Get just a sideline angle in the pocket. Nice touch. Awesome ball there. Good catch. So here's a great ball by, by Miles Brennan. 
it's a, it's a hell of a catch as well. But this is a great another example of Brandon putting the ball where only his receiver can catch it, kind of just demonstrating that feel in his touch again, and placing and dropping the ball directly between three defenders that are unable to make the play on it. Uh, again, very mature thrower uh, is able to know when to throw a rocket, when to throw a bomb, when to throw that two ball, which is kind of that in between type throw. Which if anyone's watched this channel before, they've they've heard me reference that. And that's really the uh, that's really the tell the top the the tell sign of uh, a natural thrower, a quarterback with good feel. If he can throw that two ball, which we see see here and he throws it down the field and throws it very accurately again hell of a catch but Brennan puts it where only his receiver can catch it let's go ahead and watch it watch it here pressure coming to the face as well man just drops it right in there great ball hell of a catch so Miles Brennan may be the the least athletic quarterback of the three I think he's a much better athlete than you than people think and he's able to to extend some plays with his, with his legs and throw on the run uh, better than people probably initially think. I think that Mississippi State game probably gave uh, a bad connotation, but once he was able to feel more comfortable and kind of get in a groove like against Missouri, I think obviously it showed his toughness, but it did show he does have ability to throw on the run. So here's a good example of him being deceptively athletic but throwing a damn good ball on the run here uh, against Missouri as he rolls out this way to escape pressure. Let's go ahead and watch the play here. Pressure comes in his face. Rolls out, eyes downfield, throws a deep ball. Good play. Again, extremely excited about this LSU quarterback room. This competition is going to be so fun to watch. It's going to be fun to keep up with, and each guy is going to be at the top of the game because there's three guys competing for this number one job. And all three guys started last year. All three guys showed very good signs of and showed a lot of potential. And so I think we should be very excited. Again, I'm sorry this video was a little lengthy, but we had three guys. I wanted to get some decent amount of film on all three guys. So I wanted to kind of just demonstrate what they do well and their different skill set. And as far as that, you know, they're fairly similar too, right? They're different, but they have similarities. So I wanted to show that. So uh, that's the LSU battle. We'll have a lot more in this competition. We'll be keeping up with it. If you like this type of quarterback content, if you like quarterback competition, quarterback film breakdown, if you like, uh, how we assess quarterbacks from a postural range of motion standpoint in the weight room and what we add into their programs to kind of help them develop. We'll be putting that type of stuff out as well. So if you like that type of content, please consider subscribing. If you like this video, please give us a like, give us a comment, uh, any suggestions about what we can do to, to be better or you know what you want to see next, just please uh, consider subscribing, liking, commenting if you like that. We'll continue to get better and we'll be back next time.